Hey everybody, this is Ian O'Byrne again. We're taking a look at WordPress, the free version of WordPress.com that you can use to set up your website. We're looking at a series of videos to figure out how do you get your WordPress site up and running to serve as your digital portfolio, your main website. One of the things uh, in previous videos we've looked at just setting up the site and selecting a WordPress theme. In the video about WordPress themes, we talked about setting up dummy pages. You can go see that video for more info. In this, I want to take a look at once you identify the theme that you really want. So we were searching through, we found this uh, apostrophe theme. This is not the one that we left off on, but I selected this apostrophe theme because it's a little bit easier to negotiate. I think that the, the images worked a little bit for me for this dummy website that I set up. Once again, I still have a lot of the dummy posts and pages in there. Um, now I want to customize it a little bit. Because as you're going through and you're selecting a theme, you'll come across a couple themes that resonate with you. They look good to you. The text looks good. The, it's readable. The images work well for you. The placement of the images. You like where the menu is situated. As you move past those initial uh, decisions. So as you go through and you're selecting themes, a lot of the initial selection process involves just immediate things that you like or dislike. So it's pretty easy to go in and select a theme and say, no, I don't like this immediately. Um, or go through and say, okay, I don't like this one immediately. I can't really express why I don't like it. I just don't like it. Um, or no, I don't like this. I like things with more images and more pictures. And that is a personal preference. That is a design aesthetic that works or does not work for you. And you need to pay attention to that. So after you get past that initial, yes, I like this, I can live with this theme. So let's suggest that you like this theme, you like the, the layout of the theme, everything for the most part works for you. So if you like this and you like the layout, the next thing you want to do is you want to go in and customize the theme. So once again, a theme is a, a program, it is a, a, a piece that will make your website operate different ways, look different ways, the interface will be a little bit different. The posts and the pages and the links and the menus and the images will all change depending on the theme that you choose. When you start with the theme, they'll add a lot of that content in for you, but then you're going to want to customize it to really make it your own. And there's different elements of the theme that will work or will not work for you based upon how you customize it. So as you're, at, you know, after that initial process, when you say, yes, this is the theme I like, I can live with this theme. The next step is you want to go in and customize it. And you'll find that as you customize, you might find certain par parts of the theme that you don't like anymore. So you might start working with it and you don't like the way that, for example, you know, the this is purple. You don't like the color purple or you don't like this color for the text widget. And it's only through editing and customizing that you figure out that for some reason you cannot change that. That's just a fundamental part of the theme. If you decide, I can't live with that anymore, you need to move to a new theme. Um, and there are ways that you can search online how to tweak a lot of these different things. So then as you customize, it's a gradual process of figuring out what you can live with and what you love about your WordPress site and about the theme. So the way that you customize the themes is I'm here. Once again, this is the front side, the public side of your WordPress site. This is the back end, the side, the, the private side. This is what you see as you edit and create content. So this area, all of this content here, for the most part, you don't change. Um, so we're going to go to themes. I'm going to click on customize. One other thing as this is loading that we want to pay attention to is that Different themes have different parts that you can customize. So not every, uh, you know, some themes will offer more pieces that you can customize on your site and some will offer less. It depends on the developers. It depends on the theme. It depends on what they choose to offer. So as I click on customize, I see a number of options at the top. I have site identity, menus, widgets, static front page, etc. I typically will go in and I'll click on each one of these and then I'll change something and then click out to see what I like. So for logo, if I want to, I can add a logo for my site. I can change the site title. So what I might call this is, I think, what is the name of my site? Mentor Tech Web. So if I wanted to, I could add a new title up here. 
if I wanted to add a tagline, I can see what this will lot what the what this will give me. Um, so I might leave that blank, or I might say play with tech, and then I can leave that there at a later date. Uh, change it if if I want to. If I don't like the title, I can get rid of it. So this is giving me a lot of different elements that I might want to change about my site. The footer credit. All right, so the footer credit is not, looks like it's trying to do something. Okay, so it's giving me like the, the wordpress.com or the Creative Commons license. So I like that it's allowing me to change that. I can add a site icon. As I'm changing things, it's changing it over here in the main website. So I can hit Save and Publish, and then I can go back, and I can look at colors and backgrounds. So if I want to, I can change the background, the layout and colors of the site. So you can see that I can easily, in this theme, I can easily change a lot of the colors and layouts and themes if I want to, I have fonts. I can change the the font that my website is using pretty quickly. I can go through and tweak and figure out what works the best for me. Uh, I can change the header image of this whole site. So if I want to, I can add a new header image. I can upload a header image if I want to. I'm going to get rid of this. I can add different content, different menus. Uh, there's a lot of different pieces in here that I can change if I want to. So I think that this is a, a an important part of setting up your WordPress site and an important part of figuring out what you want this WordPress site to be. So once again, this video is all about the the second step of selection of your theme, and that section step the second step is playing with different themes and figuring out themes that work for you. So after you go through and you're looking through the themes that are available in the site, after you're searching and, and you might go through a dozen or more themes that you like, figure out what ones work for you and what ones do not. Figure out what, what, what themes you can live with and what themes you love. Keep a list of all of the different themes, possibly bookmark them to figure out you know, maybe you want to go back to a theme that you got rid of three times ago. Um, that will happen. So go through, do an initial sort. We talked about that in the earlier video. Figure out what works for you, what does not work for you, what you can live with, what you ultimately might love about your WordPress site. Keep track of all of these different themes and elements over time. And then finally settle upon one that you want to start tweaking and playing with. Once you start, you've identified that one, that's when we get to this video here. Then we look at customizing, figuring out what the theme will allow you to do and not allow you to do. You might be able to go in and change other things that are not there. So let's say you look at the apostrophe to theme. And let's say there's certain things that you like, um, but you really need to change. So what I can do is I can Google it and say apostrophe uh, to WordPress theme um, edit background, for example. Chances are, if you do a couple of Google searches, you can go find people that have also used your theme and also had that problem, and they addressed it in a certain manner, or they weren't able to. So they went in and they moved to a different theme. So there's a lot of, or the, what they've done is something that is too advanced for you and you can't figure it out at this point. Then it's the decision about do you want to take the time and effort to, to make that change. So once you settle on a theme, figure out what the theme does for you. Figure out do you want to take the time to live with the theme. If you do, customize it. As you start to customize it, you will see smaller changes occur to your website. As you make those changes over time, you'll figure out if this is something you can live with. If you cannot, then go back a step and look for other themes that might fit, then go through the customization process again. Once again, this is just looking at WordPress themes, the second stage of editing, of finding and editing and customizing a WordPress theme to make it work for you. After this, we'll start to look at creating content for your site and cleaning things up and adding posts and pages and tags and categories. I hope that helps out uh, and by all means leave comments if you have any questions or any issues with anything I've shared here. Thanks again.